Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Learn the lessons from dealing with women. Learn the lessons. Now, you know, of course I get called a dating coach, but really, and I've said, nah, I mean, I'll let you call me that, but ultimately I'm just giving a perspective. I'm providing a philosophy. But what is the thing I always do? I say, go out and try it and see if it works. And if it don't work for you, try someone else's philosophy. Because ultimately, you're the one who has to get in the game. You're the one who has to go out there. And one of the best ways to really learn what works for you, what don't work for you, and indeed, even your tribe, which I'm gonna get into in a second, is just to actually deal with women. Now, I always get a comment, I always talk about tribe, and you always, always get someone who uh, says, well, how do I know my tribe? You do, don't you know which women you get along with? Because unless only way you shouldn't have an idea, only way you shouldn't have an idea is like, for whatever reason, you got to a point in life and you've had zero contact with women. Like zero. Zero contact with women outside of your family. I'll put it like that. And that's the only way. But if you're a certain age, and really, maybe even as, a, no, actually as a teenager, you can have an idea even as a teenager, because you can look at a woman, you can, after a while, if you deal with women, you can find a pattern. Yeah, you can find a pattern. You know what type of women, you, if you look at the women who went on dates with you, who at least went on a date with you, maybe they didn't do go further. Okay, then another group of women, they went on a date with you and kissed you. And you know, maybe gave you a nice little peck or something. And then they had another group of women they are, uh, you making out with them, filling them up and stuff, working their breasts, you know, squeezing their butt dunk. Didn't get any further, but then some women, it was, it, it was a full course right there. All right, what did we, the women who just went on a date with you, nothing else, what did they look like? What was their educational background? What subculture were they in? All of that. Well, the women who are down for you, definitely down for you, what did they have? You know? Like, that's the thing. Every single man should know that. You, you got, if you know which type of women you're dealing with, you know which women are having sex with you. You know which women act like they like you and the other, you know which women act like they don't want to be bothered with you. All you have to do is pay attention. Like, every single time, let me say that again, every single time you deal with the woman, record everything about it. And when I say record, mentally record. Okay, you, you approach one woman or you out, she reject you. Okay, what was it about her? What was going on? What was her body build? Start with that. What was her facial features in comparison to what you like? Think about all of that. All right, then when you think about each woman, whatever you're dealing with, okay, what was your behavior then? How were you acting? Were you acting like real nervous? Were you acting dominant? You know, what clothes were you wearing? What was your body build? Had you, you know, were you in your best shape? Were you in your worst shape? That's all you had to do. And then, like I said, you got to pay attention not just to their physicality or even their actions, but other stuff. What religion did they practice? How did they practice it? You know, were they hardcore in their religion? Or were they somebody, yeah, they practice it, but, you know, they were very open to what somebody else presents. What was their education background? Shout out uh, Master Teacher BGS. What was their class background? You know, are you getting just attention just from ratchets? Or are you getting attention from uh, upper middle class professional women? How do they respond to you? I'll use myself for an example. When if I'm around some like uh, more ratchet types, maybe working class, work, ratchet to working class, I gotta like speak a certain way, they respond. But then when I'm around some professional women, you know, I speak a different way and they respond. And I know that just from experience, just from dealing with different ones. Okay, if I meet a woman and she say certain things like about her educational background and stuff, I'm like, okay, got her. Now, she had one of those women. Now, one type of woman I actually had trouble with, those women, yeah, they, they ain't quite the got the education, but they think they up there with some serious professionals. 
I always had trouble with them. But you know what? That's cool. I know from dealing with them, like every single time, which women are having sex with you the most? Okay, what do they look like? What's their body type? What's their background? Heck, what's their race? Even within a race, like within the black community, are they light complexion? Are they chocolate complexion, mocha? What are they? You gotta ask yourself all of that. You gotta ask yourself all of that. Shoot, what country are they from? Are they from, or, no, or even before the country, what region of the country are they in? You know, if you, if you start off in the South and, you know, certain type of women like you, but then you move for whatever reason to another part, then a different type, pay attention to that. You pay attention to everything, like your environment. Like if women in a certain environment are friendly to you, but other ones, they acting funky. It's like, okay, you learn from that. See, here's the thing, because ultimately, as I said, you got to play your game. Now you can call me a coach, you can call somebody else a coach, but what does a coach do? The coach gave you some skills and then put you in the game. You still got to play. Yeah, you can run to the sideline, try to get some coaching, but at the end of the day, you got to play. it. And see, that's one of the things, see, you ultimately got to become your own relationship expert because you're the only person. I don't care what I say, somebody else say, I don't care how, how many uh, subs they got. You don't, you got to know yourself best. You got to know who's going to respond to you. You got to, you the one got to know what works for you. You know, I always talk body game, but maybe that's not your primary thing. And that's cool. And I still argue that, oh yeah, it's great. Women are always gonna check out a body, but is it a priority with one? It'll be a priority with one woman. Like you, you better have some muscles on you. The other woman, it might be like number nine on her list. And because of who you are, you presenting something different. And it's not always the physicality. Maybe you present a certain personality. Maybe you in an, in an environment, like you more serious minded, straightforward to the point. And you in an environment where you meet those type of women who like that, who got certain traits, or you might be more gregarious and they looking at that. So you got to know, so you got to also mainly see from the women's response, you already know what you're presenting. Women are ultimately a reflection of what you are. And if they act and they say, even if it's a, even if it's a situation where you constantly getting rejected, the only thing you got in common, those women have in common, no matter how much they might have in common, shoot, they can all have the same body type. They can have the same racial background, religion and all of that. But ultimately though, there's still gonna be some differences between them, even if they very minute. What you would ultimately would, that don't, the thing you gotta pay attention to is, the only thing in common rather is you but you know that because the women are giving back what you give they you getting feedback every time you interact with a woman you getting feedback you getting instant feedback like if you like here's a here's an example if you working seriously working on okay you're working on body game you working on um you know looks max and improving your face as best as possible you working on your conversation you're working on your stuff, even your financial situation, your environment. Women will provide a feedback for it right away in how they respond to you. They will let you know. Like if you had a point where women didn't say anything to you at all, but then you get to a point where women will at least be like, hey, how you doing? Good morning, good evening, whatever the case is like, okay. But you gotta learn, the only way you're gonna learn that is deal with the women and learn from the experience. And it's very, that's the only way. Like if you really, that's why I always say, get out there. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Hey, I might be entertaining. I might be deep and all of that, but you got you the one got to go out there and do what you got to do. You the one, you know? Cause I always say, okay, you know, I always joke around. I like a woman with a big old butt dunk, but that might not be you. You might not even like that. You might, I don't want that one, a woman slim. Or I want a woman with big breast or that woman, she better have an above average face. That's cool, because that's what you want. Because it, especially if, you know, certain types of women respond to you. Like, that's a big thing. I don't care who you are. There's always, I don't care who you are. There's no exceptions. There's always going to be certain types of women who are going to respond to you better. Shoot, you can even throw in when they, their date of birth. 
And that's, that's getting into some deeper stuff, even the date of birth. Because I notice when women who are born uh, at certain periods of time get along with me better than other women. Like better, it's almost like clockwork. They say a certain, they say certain month or something. I was like, oh yeah, this will work out. And then they say a certain other month, I say, mm, I'm gonna have to work on this one. But you know, I know from dealing with them. So that's the thing. That's what you gotta do, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for today. I want you to get out there and learn, seriously. You, Cause the best teacher is yourself. I can make some suggestions anybody else can, but you, you got to get out there and do it. You do. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for today and get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.